so this is a, a case series uh, looking at uh, uh, cryodilation of refractory and astomotic strictures. Uh, so we presented this at DDW this year. So a total of seven patients. Um, the majority of them were esophagogastric uh, and astomotic strictures. So four out of the seven uh, uh, were after uh, uh, Ivor Lewis esophagectomy for esophageal adenocarcinoma. Uh, one of them was an uh, esophageal colonic anastomosis uh, for uh, achalasia, colonic interposition, one gastrojunal, one ileocolonic. And so you can see um, all of them have had some form of balloon dilation, and a few of them have had uh, stenting and uh, uh, a steroid injection. Um, and uh, you can see that the amount of dilations that they were getting in the six months preceding the cryodilation is, is quite significant. Uh, um, and so um, I guess the, the end point here in the study is, is the number of dilations uh, that they're having after the cryodilation. You can see there's a significant reduction in the number of dilations that these uh, patients are requiring, which is indicating that they're having a, a, a reasonable and robust dysphagia-free interval. Let me go to the next slide. Um, so we're, we were able to um, uh, over double the uh, uh, inner diameter of the stricture for the seven patients remained absolutely symptom free and dysphagia free at the six month mark. Um, and uh, the uh, uh, mean number of dilations uh, um, uh, after um, uh, cryodilation was uh, uh, significantly uh, uh, lower. And uh, we did not have any significant earlier delayed bleeding or perforation. One of the patients had some transient post-procedural pain, which was managed conservatively, and all the patients were discharged home uh, from the endoscopy unit uh, same day. Uh, next slide, please. And this is really uh, just a timeline to stress the patient experience. So this is over a, a period of three years is one of the patients that we've done. And every little blue dot is a... Uh, uh, an EGD with dilation. So this particular patient was coming almost every two weeks. They were, you know, arranging their life around the availability of the endoscopy lab, arranging their vacation around dilations. And uh, we were really able to give them a very good dysphagia-free interval after cryodilation. I've done three sessions on them so far. And uh, uh, it really has been life-changing and so this is a very uh, important thing to stress 